upon a time when Hollywood claimed to have more stars than there were in the heavens, some very powerful moguls owned and ruled the gigantic movie studios. 20th Century Fox was the domain of Daryl Zanuck. Universal bowed to Carl Lemley. At Columbia Pictures, Harry Cohn. While over at MGM, the king was Louis B. Mayer, supported by his faithful young prince, Irving Thalberg. That was a long time ago. Today, a new king rules Hollywood. I wanted to get in production, as does everybody else want to get into production. No one wants me in production, so I realized that I got to own something that nobody else could get. And I work with a guy from Publishers Weekly. I found out that they, I'm not in Hollywood, I'm living in New York now. And I pay a guy, Publishers Weekly, to get me every piece of property that comes out before anyone sees it. Another book comes out, this guy comes over to me, a fellow named George Weezer, who's working for me, he still works for me. And he said, I got a book by the name of an uh, author who's never written anything named R Roderick Thalp, who's written a book called The Detective. It's his first book, he's an ex-cop. I read the book, I put $5,000 down, but I own it. 5000 gets 75000 Fortunately, the book becomes the number one bestseller. And I own it. And nobody wants me, but they want the property. Frank Sinatra wants to play the lead. Abby Mann wants to write it. Mark Robeson wants to direct it. And they're stuck with me. I'm, I'm going to produce this under these conditions. One, I have a full office at 20th. Two, I get full credit. Uh, they would have bought me out for half a million to get me out. But I wanted my foot in the door. Within, so I got my foot in the door. They had a, they had a grin and bear it. You have to take ads out in both the trade papers with me signing up to do this picture with Sinatra and Mark Robeson, which they did. That's how hot the book was. And I, whether fortuitously, whatever it is, I owned it. Uh, after that, in the next six months, we were preparing the, the film. I bought five other properties that all became fairly controversial properties. And a, a man named Peter Bart of the New York Times, he used to write for the Sunday New York Times, wrote an article in the Sunday Times uh, speaking about this young producer's come out to Hollywood and in six months he has more properties than all the studios together. And Charlie Bluton at the time had just bought Paramount. Gulf and Weston had just bought Paramount. And he read the article in the, in the New York Times and asked to meet me. And I flew into New York many, many times and to make a very long story short, before I started my first picture, I became head of his studio. For what he lacked in experience, Evans made up an instinct, taste, and an uncanny knack for knowing what kind of movies the public wanted to see. Paramount was close to bankruptcy when he took command. Four years later, it was the top studio in Hollywood, and Evans was delivering hot properties with top stars. Bob gives his life to the business. I don't think there are five minutes of any day when he isn't thinking film. Never mind his taste, his charm, his class, he's made of celluloid. It's all he cares about. A quote from Dustin Hoffman, star of Marathon Man. Jack Nicholson, starring in Evans' Chinatown, had this to say. I've known Bobby for years. The man has talent and style. He's a Main Street producer. He knows what people want to see. As Paramount's stocks rose under Robert Evans' direction, his name and his talents became recognized internationally. Bob Evans has made himself the hottest reputation in Hollywood by insisting maniacally on the final cut. He immerses himself in every decision from casting to musical scoring. Time Magazine. Bob Evans is unquestionably one of Hollywood's busiest, most successful and flamboyant independent producers. One whose shrewd commercial instinct and consuming passion for movies sets him apart from his other fellow producers. Stephen Farber, New York Times. And Bernard Drew, Gannett movie critic, had this to say. Robert Evans with three smashes, Love Story, Chinatown, and The Godfather, proves that in today's Hollywood, the producer is king. Yes, Evans was king, and paramount his kingdom. After producing scores of hits, this talented studio chief loved to share his definition of a producer. Do you want me to tell you what a real producer is? When I was an actor, I was under contract to Daryl Zanuck, and I told you he discovered me at uh, El Morocco. And I was sent down to Morelia, Mexico, to learn how to be a bullfighter. I, I never saw a bull in my life. And for three months, I worked out in the Corrida, learning the Quitas, the Veronicas, the Banderillas. No one wants me in the picture. Ernest Hemingway's...